What's up, Waco Nation? Thank you for joining us today on March 14th. My name is Karsten alongside Bryson. We're pouring to you live from our Talent TV studio. What's going on in Waco, Bryson? The Justin's representative for all seniors will be delivering caps and gowns, announcements, and all of your remaining graduation items next Friday, March 22nd at lunch in the Commons area. Credit card payments must be three days prior to delivery by visiting graduationcenter.com. Your account must be paid in full to pick up your items. Cash will be the only accepted form of payment on delivery day. If you would like to be considered for being on the yearbook committee and in the yearbook class next year, please fill out the survey and email from Ms. Hotel. The Culinary Hawks presents Waco's Got Talent on Thursday, March 28th at 6 p.m. in the WCHS Theater. Students and teachers that are interested can contact Chef David to receive a Google audition form. Please email Ms. Maddade if you need paperwork for your license. Please specify if it's for your learners or drivers. Also remember these forms are only good for 30 days. Freaky Friday the Musical is up next in our theater program. Based on the hit novel, film, and Disney remake, come check out Super Crazy Epic Adventure. When Ellie, a rebellious teenager, and her stressed out mom, Catherine, switch bodies magically, they have just one day to make it right. Freaky Friday is March 21st through 23rd at 7 p.m. and March 24th at 2 p.m. Tickets are $8. See you there. Damn. There is a Betty Club fundraiser and a community service in one. Monday, March 18th through Friday, March 29th. Please collect gently worn shoes from your home, neighbors, and friends. Encourage family members and teachers to do the same. Drop off gently worn shoes and Dr. Claymore's glass 404. Three pairs of shoes equal 15 minutes of community service. Now let's pass it over to Summer for our next week's weather. And this week's weather forecast is going to look something like Friday with it being late night showers and a low of 61. Saturday you're going to have some scattered storms and a high of 75. Sunday, you're also going to have some scattered storms with a high of 71 and a low of 50. Monday is going to be partly cloudy with a high of 63. Tuesday is going to be sunny with a low of 35. Wednesday is going to be partly cloudy with a high of 63. And Thursday, you're going to have some late night, late night storms with a low of 47. And back to you. Thanks, Summer. Let's dive into this week's highlighted academic program with Jaden. What's up, Waco? This is Jaden, and I'm here with Miss Mackey. I'm going to be asking her a few questions about Freaky Friday. So question one, what is Freaky Friday? Freaky Friday is a musical based off of a novel and the Disney movie with Lindsay Lohan and Jamie Lee Curtis and the newer Disney uh, Channel uh, movie that was just created. It's about a mom and a daughter who they're kind of at odds with each other um, and it leads them to get to a magical hourglass where they have to switch bodies and they just kind of learn to appreciate what the other one goes through. All right, question two. How do you get in Freaky Friday? Just like with any other production due here, there's an audition process. Um, so for our musicals, the students had to uh, learn a monologue at home. They had to learn their music at home, and they learned a choreography piece when they got here, and they put it all together, and they auditioned. The last question, when is the show, and how do we watch it? The show is March 21st to the 24th. You can get tickets on GoFan. They are $8. It's at 7 o'clock on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and 2 o'clock on Sunday. Appreciate that. All right. Thank you all. Things are looking good for work-based learning. What's up, Waco? This is Jaden, and I'm here with Mr. Dean Wilcher, and I'm going to be interviewing him about work-based learning. So first question, what is work-based learning? Well, that's a great question, Jaden, and I'll be glad to explain it to everybody. Work-based learning is basically a uh, what I'd like to call a capstone class to go along with our different pathways here at Washington County High School. And what I mean by that, if you have three classes in agriculture, you, your first, second, and third level, well, come your senior year, you might like to go out and find a job in the community that's tied back to your pathway. And we're, we're able to help people do that. So. Uh, it's a really good thing, and uh, we have lots of different people. We have about 100 students now that are in the program. 
working in about 53 different locations in Washington County. So we've got pretty much all of our, our bases covered with our pathways. And second question, what are the requirements for the program? Okay, the requirements are, are, um, are, are relatively simple. Uh, you have to be uh, 16 years old in the 11th or 12th grade here at Washington County High School and um, currently be enrolled in one of our, our pathway programs. And uh, optimally, if you're, if you're already working, um, it's, it's a lot easier for us to get you placed into the program, but we, we do offer services to help, help kids find employment based on their pathways. And I will say this, one, one good thing about the work-based learning program, it lets you find out what it's really like working in that field and it's, it's good to find out that, hey, I really like this right now. Or this is definitely what I want to do moving forward. Or better yet, you may find out that you don't like what you think you want to do. And it's better to find out in high school than it is after you're 30 years old and been working on the job eight years. So uh, it's a good program we're here. And uh, I'd be happy to talk to anybody about uh, next year. Uh, students, um, I will be sending out an email uh, in the next couple of weeks uh, with an application uh, process instructions for our next year's work-based learning class. So if you have any questions, come see me. Appreciate that insight. Rise up. Speaking of work-based learning, let's check out all this, what CTAE is all about. Roll the clips. <laughs> This week in sports, we have several games coming up. Starting off the week, playing on Monday afternoon, our very own golf team plays at Jefferson County at 4 p.m. Next, we have girls and boys soccer versus Glen Hills. The girls match begins at 5.30 and the boys match will follow at 7.15 p.m. Finally, on Saturday, we have our very own bass fishing team competing against West Point. If you see any of these players for each sport, please wish them the best of luck. To end our sports segment, we have a great video showca showcasing our baseball field. Check out the Hawks Nest. Thank you so much, Bryson. That'll be all for this week 
on What's Up Waco with Talent TV Studios. Don't forget that we are out of school on Friday, March 15th. See you, See next, you next time. time. I'm, that I'm the was GOAT. terrible. I'm the GOAT, me no. I'm done. I'm done. One take this shit. I'm done.